slaying since birth. Hmm. We're being super cash today. Hey guys, what is up, what's good? It's your girl Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be comparing cheap eyeshadows versus high-end eyeshadows. I am super excited because I did film a video just like this one a few weeks back where I did drugstore versus high-end, except I did a full face. Today, we're gonna focus on eyes, the shadows. Stop right now. Can you guys guess which one is cheap and which one's high-end? Let me know, comment below. If you guys are new to my channel, then Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the fam. No, okay. Welcome to my channel. I promise you, it gets better over time. I am, I'm pretty relaxed over here, so you're not gonna get super uptight and oh my god, oh my nails done. Put the blush and the highlight. No. You're gonna get me, the real raw me. So press that subscribe button and also click that bell so that way you guys are notified anytime I upload a new video, which is twice a week, every single week. And without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. Bet you didn't think you'd be seeing my face all dolled up so soon. But before we get into application, I do wanna share with you guys the palette I'm going to be duping, which is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And I know I never really thought I would be duping this palette on my channel because it is such a highly reputable palette in the beauty community. I feel like I always hear people talk about it. And this palette on its own is literally the perfect representation of a universally flattering warm tone eyeshadow palette. And if you aren't really sure how to associate warm tones, they're pretty much the yellows and the reds of the color spectrum. So when you open the palette, you have 14 gorgeous shades from mattes to satins to shimmers, and they all flow beautifully and nicely together. You have your lights, your mediums, and then your darks, but not too dark. So I really appreciate the dark brown in here and not a black because I feel like if she would have interpreted a black in the palette, it would have been way too much. You know what I mean? This baby does have a retail value of $42. I know it's pretty pricey, but I definitely feel like it is worth the money. But I also feel those of you guys out there who may want this palette, but may not be able to afford it because I remember when I first started getting back into makeup, I could barely afford an $8 mascara, let alone a $42 eyeshadow palette. So I do want to show you guys a really awesome alternative to this palette, if not, dupe for this palette. And the palette I am going to share with you guys is this palette right here. It is called Royals by the brand Bad Habit. So opening it up immediately. First thought, ABH Modern Renaissance, hands down. The only huge difference in this palette is that the colors are set up completely different and the Royals palette is just a little bit longer and the pans are bigger. This does retail for $18, which I think is steel absolute steel. You get 14 pan eyeshadows. They are bigger than the Anastasia ones. It comes with a mirror and it has a magnetic closure. Like you can't really ask for much more for $18. You can only purchase this exclusively over on shophush.com. And if you guys don't know what Shop Hush is, well, you're missing out. No, but seriously, it is an online beauty retailer that sells a wide variety of products at different price points. I got like a charcoal bubble face mask, a lip mask, got a little stand for my beauty blender. I also got a big warm tone eyeshadow palette. I got a dupe of the Venus Lime Crime palette, which I think was super cool. So there's a lot of different things on the site, but this just like stood out to me and I was like, I need to film a video about it because I was so impressed with the quality of this palette. And I thought that you guys would be really impressed with it too. Shook, freaking mind blown. What, is this real? Why yes, well yes it is. I did do swatches of both of these palettes on my arm so that way you guys can kind of see the color payoff and all that stuff. Keep in mind, I didn't just do one finger swatch because I don't know what's up with the beauty community recently, but everyone, literally everyone is like crazed out on these one finger swatches. It's about how shadows blend, how they build. Do they get patchy? Do they have fallout? Do they blend away once you start blending them out? That kind of thing. So I do show you guys all of that in the application process of this video. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into application so you can see how these babies apply on my eyelids. So you guys, to start, my brows are already done and my eyes are primed. I just used a little bit of the Kevda Kwan Sensual Skin Enhancer to prime my entire lids and this one is in the shade SX09. Now when doing these types of videos, I think it's super crucial not to cross contaminate the product. So use the Anastasia brush on the royal side so that way, you know, it doesn't affect the way the product lays on the lid. So I do have my makeup brush cleaner right here. There's a little bit left. This is by Clinique. So I will be cleaning off my brushes as I go. I also have doubles of some brushes here. So 
we're good, we're set, we're ready. So moving on, on the right side, I will be using the Royals palette by the brand Bad Habit that you can purchase exclusively on shophush.com. They were really cool and nice to send me over a discount code, amarie 10 if you guys want 10% off. So that's gonna be on my right side. On the left side, I will be duping the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Mm. Starting off with the high-end side, I'm gonna take the shade right here called Tempura, and I'm going to blend this into my crease and up underneath my brow bone. This is going to help with blending later. Then with a smaller brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the shade called Tempura, and I'm just going to pack it directly underneath my brow bone to act as my highlight shade. The dupe for that shade in the Royals palette is called Treasury, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Treasury, and I am just going to rock it into my crease all the way up to my brow bone. Using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, I'm gonna pick up the shade called Burnt Orange in the ABH palette, tap off that excess, and I'm just gonna rock this back and forth in my crease. This is going to be my transition color. Typically, I like to hold my brush towards the very end, just so that way I have a very nice, evenly distributed color payoff, and I want it to be evenly dispersed. I don't wanna pack on a ton of color all at once, which is why I am using this fluffy brush. So I'm just blowing it out, going in big circular motions, really just working that color in my crease. Now the dupe in the Royals palette is called Air. Now I will say straight off the bat, some of the matte shades in the Royals palette aren't as creamy and as buttery as some of the ABH shadows in the Modern Renaissance palette. I do notice that Air is a little bit more on the dry side. It doesn't have that much pickup. So I do have to kind of dip my brush in there a little bit more than usual. But nonetheless, I'm gonna take that same E40 blending brush and rock it into my crease. So far, I think the brow bone highlight on the Royal side is a little bit more like in your face, which I kind of like a little bit more than the ABH one, which is a little bit more on the matte side. Moving on. With my Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm gonna dip it into raw sienna, and I'm just going to pack this on the outer V, leaving the center of my lid bare. And then I'm going to open my eye and blend my brush back and forth to give it some more definition. I'm also going to take this in my crease and in the inner corner. Ulysses, can you come let Penny out for me? Make sure that creature isn't there. What creature? The armadillo. <laughs> So that's what we're going for on this side. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. Clearly, Ashley, clearly. Using a clean Sigma E25, I'm gonna pick up the dupe to Raw Sienna, which is Noble inside of this palette. And as you can see, this one definitely has a lot more pickup than Air, so there is a little bit of inconsistencies. So this is where I start to see a little bit of inconsistencies. This side seems a little bit more richer and warmer than the royal side. Not to say that the royal side is bad, but you can definitely see a clear difference between those two warm tone brown shades. So I just wanted to kind of point that out so that we guys can clearly see what I'm talking about. The next shade in the palette I'm gonna take is called Red Ochre. And I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M433. And I'm just going to run it alongside the outer portion of the lid to bring some color color into the eyes. Now the Morphe M433, as you can see, mine's is just a little bit bigger than my Sigma E25. So when I want to pack on color, but do it in a very blown out way, I will go in with this one. The dupe for that color in the Royals palette is this one right here called Rain. And I am going to pick it up with the same Morphe M433. And I'm just going to pop it right here in the outer portion of my lid. All right, so this is pretty much what we're working with so far. I feel like on this eye, since I do have that kind of like indentation, that scar, it makes me look like I have a patch right there. But I think both sides are blending out very nicely. Like I said, there are slight inconsistencies between the two shadows, as you can see. Moving on, I'm gonna take that same shade called Red Ochre, and I'm going to pop it in the inner corner, just like we did with the shade Raw Sienna. And at this point, I'm just kind of building up the colors 
to see what I get. I really don't have a specific look in mind. I just want to see how each shade blends on top of each other. So that way you guys can get a good picture of the performance of each palette. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of concealer on both sides and I'm gonna use the same exact concealer on both sides. I'm just gonna use a little bit of sharp, sharp tape tape, what? Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm going to take the Sigma F70 concealer brush and I'm just going to place that on the center part of my lid. Because guess what we're doing? Halo. After carving out a little bit of my lid space, I'm going to take the shade called Primavera. Ooh. And I'm just going to pack that directly over top. Then I'm just gonna go around the edges and just kind of feather it out. The dupe in the Royals palette is called Crown, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that, and then I'm just going to pack it directly over top. So I don't see too many differences in the shimmers as I do with the mattes, but I'm now gonna go ahead and just prime, prime. No, I'm gonna line my eyes and I will be right back. So I went ahead and did my liner, popped on some lashes and finished the rest of my face. I'm now gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna work on the lower lash line. So going in with the shade Venetian Red from the Anastasia palette, I'm going to use a flat definer brush by Sigma and I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line. The dupe in the Royals palette is this one right here called Regal, and I'm gonna apply it with the same Sigma flat definer brush. So after applying those two colors, I am just going to take a pencil brush and buff it out. And on my pencil brush, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the shade called Burnt Orange. From the Royals palette, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of air and buff out the shade called Regal. So after applying that color, I'm thinking that I wanna apply a little bit more of the shade called Venetian Red into my crease to kind of tie everything together. So I'm gonna take the E25 Blending Brush by Sigma, picking up a little bit of Venetian Red, and I'm just going to rock this right here in my crease. From the Royals palette, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna pick up Regal, and I'm just going to apply this right here in the outer part of my lid. So these are my eyes. Final thoughts, I will definitely say that to the naked eye, to someone who is just gonna walk up to me and say, hey, how are you doing? I don't think they'd be able to tell the difference between these two eyeshadow palettes. I don't think that you would be able to tell. The only person who would truly be able to tell is the person who did it, how they blend out. They blend out completely different. I feel like I have to work a little bit harder to blend out the Royals Bad Habit palette, whereas the ABH one just kind of blends out like a dream. The formula on the Anastasia one is very creamy, it's buttery. It's just so highly pigmented, whereas this one, I feel like some of the colors are lacking. Not not to say that this is a terrible palette because it's definitely not. I think that this is an amazing palette, but if you kind of touch in the palette, some shadows are a little bit more dry than others. I feel like the consistency between Air and Noble aren't quite the same, but I really do love them. I feel like the shimmers in this palette are just on point. I feel like if this brand was gonna come out with more stuff, I definitely feel like their strongest point are their shimmers. So as you can see, this shade right here called Queen, it's just, it just glides on my hand so nicely and it is so gorgeous. So the shimmers on here are pretty much the staple. I also wanna point out that the satins in this palette are extremely beautiful. If you look at the Royal side versus the Anastasia side, I will say that I like the treasury color, the brow bone highlight color a little bit better than ABH just because it does give a little bit more of a sheen. I don't know, I'm just really into that. Um, the shadow is absolutely stunning. It's very much buildable. Um, 
Um, you do have to build it up just a little bit more than you do ABH, but that's expected with the lower price point. All in all, I really do like the palette. I think it is an amazing steal for $18. You are getting almost identical shades to ABH Modern Renaissance. Texture is different, colors, they're pretty, pretty close. If you want a palette similar in color, I definitely say go with the cheaper one, save them save them don't spend them you guys know me so i will link it down below if you guys are interested in it and with that i don't think i have anything else to say except i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one deuces